Imagine standing in a dimly lit room, face to face with a humanoid figure. Its skin looks real, too real. Its eyes seem to follow you, but there's something wrong. Its smile is just a fraction too wide, its movement's just a little too stiff. Your pulse quickens. You can't quite explain it, but you feel uneasy, even afraid. What you're experiencing is the uncanny valley, a psychological phenomenon that taps into some of our deepest, most primal fears. But why does something that's almost human creep us out so much? And what does that say about us and our future with artificial intelligence? Stay tuned as we dive into one of the most unsettling mysteries of the human mind. And while you're here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to stay updated with our latest content. Thanks. The term Uncanny Valley was first coined in 1970 by Japanese roboticist Masahiro Mori. He observed an interesting pattern. When robots started looking more human-like, people generally found them more relatable and even comforting. But at a certain threshold, something strange happened. Instead of feeling more connected, people experienced the opposite, a deep sense of unease, even revulsion. This sudden drop in emotional response is what Mori described as the valley, a place where something is almost but not quite human, and that almost is precisely what makes it so disturbing. But this eerie effect isn't just limited to robots. The uncanny valley can also be triggered by lifelike dolls, hyper-realistic computer-generated characters, and even AI-generated faces. You might have seen a CGI human in a movie that looked a little too realistic, yet somehow unnervingly off. Maybe it was the way they blinked, the stiffness in their movements, or the slight unnaturalness in their expressions. That subtle wrongness is enough to make our brains recoil. So why does this happen? Some researchers believe it's tied to evolution, perhaps an ancient instinct that helped us recognize when something was off about a person, like signs of disease or deception. Others suggest it's because we expect human-like things to behave exactly like us. And when they don't, it shatters our perception of reality. As technology advances, this phenomenon becomes more relevant than ever. With AI-generated faces, hyper-realistic virtual influencers, and robots designed for human human interaction, we're constantly pushing the boundaries of what looks and feels real. Why does the uncanny valley disturb us so deeply? Psychologists have proposed several theories, each offering a unique perspective on why almost human figures unsettle us. One explanation is rooted in cognitive dissonance, the mental discomfort we feel when two conflicting ideas exist at the same time. When we see something that looks human but behaves mechanically, or when a face appears almost real but has subtle, unnatural features, our brains struggle to reconcile the contradiction. This internal conflict can create an eerie sense of unease, triggering a response that feels almost like fear. It's as if our mind is telling us this should be human, but something is wrong. But cognitive dissonance isn't the only explanation. Another theory suggests that the uncanny valley effect is deeply rooted in evolution. Some researchers believe it may be a survival instinct, a subconscious mechanism that helped our ancestors quickly identify threats. Throughout history, humans had to detect signs of illness, injury, or even deception in others. If someone's appearance or behavior seemed off, it could indicate danger. And since our brains evolved to prioritize survival over logic, we may still have that built-in reaction today. Even if the threat is nothing more than a robot, CGI character, or AI-generated face, this could explain why some artificial humans feel more disturbing than comforting. They exist in a strange in-between space where they're neither fully real nor entirely fake. Our minds don't know how to categorize them, and that uncertainty makes us uncomfortable. One of the most cited examples is the 2004 animated film The Polar Express. Despite its groundbreaking motion capture technology, audiences found the characters lifelike yet slightly off appearances unsettling, leading to a sense of unease. The characters' eyes and facial expressions in particular lack the warmth and spontaneity of real human emotions, placing them deep within the uncanny valley. Similarly, the 2019 film adaptation of Cats faced criticism for its digital fur technology, which blended human actors' faces with feline features. The result was a series of characters that many viewers found disturbing and unnatural, as the combination of human and cat-like attributes did not align with familiar forms, triggering discomfort. 
In the realm of robotics, Hansen Robotics' humanoid robot, Sophia, has sparked discussions about the uncanny valley. While Sophia exhibits highly realistic facial features and expressions, many observers feel uneasy due to subtle imperfections in her movements and interactions, which highlight the gap between human and robot. Another example is the Geminoid series of robots, designed to closely resemble their human counterparts. Despite their lifelike appearances, the robots' mechanical movements and lack of genuine human presence can evoke a sense of eeriness in observers. Not everyone reacts the same way to the uncanny valley. While some find hyper-realistic robots and CGI fascinating, others feel instant discomfort. But why? One factor is facial perception sensitivity. Some people process facial details more intensely. So even the smallest inconsistency, a slight lag in blinking, or an unnatural smile can feel unsettling. Cultural exposure also plays a role. Those who regularly interact with CGI, lifelike robots, or even deepfake technology may become desensitized over time. However, for someone seeing it for the first time, the effect can be far more intense. Despite this variation, some eerie qualities still affect nearly everyone. Which brings us to the big question, as AI and robotics evolve, will we ever truly adapt? Or will the uncanny valley always exist? Some experts believe that with time, exposure, and technological advancements, the effect will fade. Younger generations growing up alongside lifelike AI may feel far less disturbed than we do today. However, others argue that the uncanny valley is too deeply rooted in human psychology. The more realistic artificial beings become, the more subtle imperfections will continue to trigger discomfort. If anything, as AI pushes the boundaries of realism, we might discover new layers of unease. One solution, embrace stylization. Instead of chasing perfect realism, designers are shifting toward intentionally stylized designs, like animated characters or humanoid robots with clear robotic features. By making them look less human, they become more accepted. The Uncanny Valley remains one of the most fascinating and unsettling psychological mysteries. It forces us to reconsider what makes us human, how we relate to AI, and whether we'll ever fully accept artificial beings. But what if this eerie feeling isn't just about how things look, but how they make us feel? The discomfort might not just come from the imperfections in AI or CGI. It might come from the realization that the line between human and artificial is blurring. As technology advances, the question isn't just will we adapt, but how much of our world will change? Could there be a future where hyper-realistic AI doesn't disturb us at all? Or will we always feel a sense of unease when facing something almost human but not quite? At what point do artificial beings stop being artificial and start feeling real? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And while you're here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more deep dives into psychology, AI, and the mysteries of the human mind.